Today, I'm talking to you about the Nigerian man that killed his wife in America. It happened in August 2023. The man was reported to have killed his wife, and after killing her, he called 911. He called the police, and he reported himself, and he sat with the lifeless body of the wife until the police arrived. The story has it that the man sponsored the wife through school, um, sponsored the wife, was supporting the wife all through, as we have not to work just to take care of the family in Nigeria, and he was in the army. And um, he raised and sold some of the properties, and he sent his wife and children to America. Getting to America, the wife started to work. And in starting to work in America, she became more financially buoyant than him. Eventually, she went ahead to grow wings and she threw him out of the house and she maltreated him. This angered him and made him to pull the rifle on her eventually and he killed her. It's a long story and the picture of the man and his wife is shown up here. There are some lessons I want men to learn from this. If I'm the man, I pray this kind of thing does not happen to any man, does not happen to me, does not happen to you. But if you are the man, what and what are you supposed to do? Number one, we are told that the man could still do some many jobs. He should have left the wife alone, get rent an apartment for himself, and start his life over. At least a wife is taking care of the children. So he has not really lost in the, in the real sense. So by the time he builds himself up, then the wife definitely will gravitate towards him. He should have allowed her, let her be. And he should have lived his life. He can get a, a studio room apartment. He can get um, he can get a shared apartment, and he will live his life. Even if he do does some many jobs in America for some time before he gets a good job, he will have still made it. Number two is that the man um, seemed to be somebody that really, really loved the woman, and he gave her his all, and he was not expecting what she did. Yes, it's good to love, it's good to do everything, but it's also good to create some allowances. I was watching a video on TikTok where the guy said, for no reason should a man go broke, for no reason. Women don't want to care. It's, it's, that is women nature. 99.9% .9 of women are not ready to cater for any man. That is how they are wired. That is how they are made. If you find 0.01% taking care of the man, let me tell you, if the man had been taking care of the woman for 10 years, for 20 years, for 30 years, and the woman now, uh, for day one, day two, day three, she's the one feeding the family. By day four, she sees herself as a husband. She can buy a goose seed that they have not peed from the market and ask the husband to be peeing at home. By just day four, not talking about day 30, not talking about day 60. So that's how women are wired. So men, by all means, by all means, save up, build up, do something for yourself. Enjoy some part of your life. I see men, they take pepper soup, they do this, they do that. I see. It is because of some of these things. Because of some of these things. There is no how. The man, this man will have handled the matter more maturely than he did. So this is just a few takes I'm going to drop here. Men, take care of yourself. The women, the children will take care of the women, even when they grow old, before they even remember the man. Even when somebody is coming to marry your daughter, the wife will have known more than three years away why you are not knowing. It is only during, during when they are really ready, ready, ready that you will get to know. Well, they will now bring one bad price to you. Whereas the woman have taken like times hundred of that in gifts that she will not, she have not been disclosing to you. So men, wise up, sit up, cook up. I'm not blaming the women. That is how nature have made women. So it is a man that does not understand how nature has made women that will be having all these kind of problems. So um, I, it's, it's a pity they just ended this way. Anybody in, in diaspora, a Nigerian or any other country man that is in diaspora facing this kind of problem, what you should do is get an apartment for yourself. Get a job and start working on your life. Live your life as if you are a single man. But remember, the woman has your children and then she's taking care of your children. So you are not at a loss in the real sense. So developing a woman, she'll take care of her children. If she doesn't want to see you again, she doesn't love you again, you go ahead, take care of yourself and love yourself as a man and go on with your life. You see, when the woman now sees that you are going on with your life, she will come back to you 
But the moment you're running, chasing after her, chasing after her, she'll run away from you. I'm going to talk to you again some other time. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and let me have your comment and question in the comment section below. I pray this kind of thing does not happen to me, does not happen to you, does not happen to any man that we know, does not happen to any of our brothers, our sisters, anybody. Let's there be unity and unity. Peace.